Hello everybody, welcome to another Bio Showcases without audio because apparently the intro doesn't have uh, audio. Anyway, this is Prevent the Fall. Prevent the Fall is a rogue playing game, dungeon crawler, advance to 20 cha character levels as you acquire items of power and attempt to conquer dungeons with which are a mixture of handcrafts and generated content. So let's get to it and we'll talk a little bit more. I know little, I just started the game up just to see if everything would record well. Um, there is audio coming in, don't worry, it's just this doesn't have anything. So anyway, let's um, carry on, which was a game that took five seconds. <laughs> anyway, let's actually just delete in case I missed something. Sure, new game, easy. Alright. Who are pushing Prevent the Fall, do the tutorial, move forward, blah blah, and, uh, and, and, and motion controller. Yeah, so this game is also available in VR, which is something I do not have. Anyway, we're playing as this fancy looking fellow. I'm using a next box controller. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see, interact, jump. Oh, why is jump? Okay. Attack left hand weapon. Attack right hand weapon, okay. That's a lot of buttons, man. So X is X plus left trigger. Oh my god, there's a lot of buttons to this. Oof. Just get to it. Turn the chest. Well, the with the cots by moving in front of it. You'll find basic equipment in this chest, but you will find a wide variety of weapons and armor in other chests. More difficult the quest, the better treasure you'll find. Difficulty of levels will also increase the levels you gain. Okay. Uh, open the inventory window. Wish I knew what button that was. <laughs> there we go. Staff of Dust. Magic cost. Okay, well, let's equip that. We'll equip that too. Apparently, we'll equip that too. Once you equip a weapon or shield, you will need to switch it. You can use the Q. Okay, so that's a roll. So that's what you want me, right? Weapon switching, you receive new weapons quickly after a few quests, so make sure to equip them and try them out. As long as you have a weapon equipped or in your inventory, you should not receive another copy as well. So you will get the new loot each time. That's good. I want to try it stuff out as well. It can be held in either hand. It's a combination of melee weapons and ranged magical weapons will be different between life and death. So that's a block. And that's a shop. Can I... There we go. I think the way I gotta go th with this is like this, and then I can shove them away. And chop. Okay. Door to the east is now unlocked. Please continue east. We just walk straight through doors. Dungeon can fill with many parallel straps. In some instances, there are ways to disable them. Just ahead, there are spike traps to activate if you run over them. Just before them, to decide the lever, you can pull those the traps. To activate the lever, press the highlight, press the E key, B button on the gamepad, or trigger button on not using a ranged weapon with a 5 or touch controller to interact with it. The lever will activate and you can move. Safely pass the traps to the next room. Some traps will reduce spots, some are hidden in the ceiling and will kill you almost instantly. Be aware of your surroundings, you might even use it to take out an enemy. This doesn't really strike me as a lever. Well, they said it was to the south. According to the map, there it is. Cool. Continue exploring to the east. While finding certain goods in the dungeons you visit, sometimes you're out in the open, sometimes you're in barrels like in this room. You can interact with it, become an object behind when you get close to the. Okay. Let's go looking. This 
spider is waiting through the door to the south. Make sure you have a weapon in one of your hands. And reminder, you can switch using la 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 la. Okay, so let's try that again. Use that. Chop them up. And then use that in case they get a little too close for comfort. This didn't really do what I hope it would do. Whatever. <coughs> Final challenge is a goblin waiting for you in the back room you just came from. Goblins carry two daggers with them, I can make it hard to attack them from the front as an attack because their daggers will be parried. Here's the goblin without receiving a lot of damage, watch their attacks and evade by lunging attacks and hit them on the side or behind. Well played stab too, their daggers is effective as well. Staff is effective as well as it cannot be blocked and works well against defensive opponents. Problem is, it doesn't look like I have many defensive or offensive options. Let's go to the shields. We'll try this thing a bit. This is pretty good. You guys, let's complete the tutorial. Come back to the menu. Okay. Exit the dungeon using the system menu. There we go. Ooh, hello. Obtain a quest from a tavern keeper. I am looking for adventure. That spider on earth and the crypts is causing quite a stir and must be vanquished. Hmm. Any group adventures makes me think. There's a multiplayer aspect to this. I may mean, just have a quick look at it. Um, yes, there is online multiplayer co-op and online co-op. Neat. Man, imagine me like six or so people, or like two or three in like a VR. Yeah, host online, host. Look there on network, join somebody else. I'll handle this solo. Or I get murdered trying to. Taunting twirl. <laughs> Exit dungeon. Okay. Now let's go. I see this being quite nifty in VR. By the way, um, game is. Let me just quickly check again. You could really use a second monitor for this kind of stuff, but anyway, um, game is still in early access. By the way, and is priced at 15 euros. Currently, it's on sale. I don't know if it's still going to be when this goes up. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. They got him. This is a shiny thing. I, I can't pick up the shiny thing? Well, ooh. Did you just spit at me? No, he's using a... Seems like blocking doesn't really do all too much. Either that or I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Perfectly possible. Maybe just can block everything. I mean, I can understand that a spider, it's kind of about the size of your ankles, isn't gonna get blocked by a shield. That you're holding up to your face. Take them out before they gang up on you. There you go. Come here, you. This looks like a thing I can interact with. Nope. Get shanked. Even though we're not really using a shank. Yup. He said something about keeping tabs on my surroundings, but yeah. Not entirely sure how enemies work. They just seem to spawn in when you're not looking. 
guess that's gonna be our massive spider. Let's take a tactical retreat. Stone burrow spider. Hm. Okay, that's a treasure chest right there. We'll have a look at that. We have a dagger. Pointy and sharp. That's what we need, right? So you can carry multiple things. That's neat. What's this thing? Level uh, one, one bullet damage was. Uh, might well turn it on. So what do we have? We've got like. Oh, I should probably go off of Discord. Give me a sec while I do that. There we go. Um. So we got dagger, sword, two-handed sword, axe, mace, fancy club, even fancier club, ring. Armor, helmet, shield, sun. And we've got wands and tridents, glowy sticks. Apparently quite a lot of um, slots and you can hold on to each of them. Hmm. I guess that'll work. Let's see if we can... Dwarven blades. <laughs> Let's bring... What am I wearing? Now? So the dagger and... Okay. Left trigger slice. Eh, okay. Stab. Achilles slice. And then we can twirl. Alright. Um... Well, let's see where we still have to go. See, like the dungeon map fills out as you progress through it. Kind of was under the impression that that rock spider thing was the one thing we were after, but apparently not. Just leave it to me to take the wrong path again, huh? Yeah. This is how you fight. With fancy moves. A headshot with a sword. I'm a... Dude. This thing is getting better by the minute. Yeah, it works. I mean... Yeah, controls are a bit... Wonky at best, I would say. <clears throat> the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm probably using the worst control scheme for this, namely the controller. I'm pretty sure if you were to use mouse and keyboards, um, you'd probably just have buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as they are mentioned to use. You don't have to do like this button plus another button. So. Yeah, and how it would work in VR, I have no idea. As I have zero experience with it, but you know, if it is, if you can, if you end up seeing it from first person, ooh, there's probably a big spider. Hey, I kind of don't want to get smushed by this thing. Is there any way to set it off? I don't see any levers, or levers. Maybe I can roll through it. Rah! Totally can. Not the best. You can say it. I kill each stab. Quest completed, you're now level 2. Sweet. Alright. Um, let's go back, check some more stuff in the upgrade. Uh, I think it's better than my current sword, right? Oh. Totes. Now we've got a helmet too, and actually goes onto our character. Huh. That's cool. It's a little thing, but you know, it's nice. You know, 
Uh, I did dungeon. <coughs> now, let's have a look at the upgrade stuff, and then I don't think we're going to be ready to cut it here. There's probably going to be things similar to this, and... Um, you know, you don't always have to do long videos once it becomes clear what the thing's about. Uh, let's see... I need to tweak my gear? That's just an actual options thing. Okay. Looking for gear. I think I have a mace, which I'll part with for 15 gold. I can't afford that. Okay. So apparently there's quite a bunch of stuff to do. Let's just quickly see if there's anything noteworthy. Um, besides this, you know, probably being amazing in VR. But I might just be a little bit baffled by this because, you know, just VR in general seems like an amazing thing, so everything in VR has to be amazing as well. Whether that's true or not, I do not really know yet, but... Um, but I can tell you, and it's something I probably, probably should have mentioned before, is something that I'm currently struggling to find. <laughs> no, but seriously though, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, this is a game that, um, I, I hit a button here. You can tell I'm just amazing. But anyway, um, silence is something that I really should avoid. So anyway, yeah, um, it looks like a great game, you know, it's, um, Also been developed and published by DBS, which is DWS, which is something I was forgetting. Let's jump into it while I give some more final things, I guess. You've been staring at this for far too long, anyway. Looking for adventure. I'll go take care of that. I ended a solo, thank you. Ooh. So, yeah, um... I'm glad that I jumped into another game, because you can see now it's not always just the same old, same old Dungeon 2. Um, we've got some fancy pants sewers, and um, our mission is not even the same thing either. We are now meant to... Hey, yeah, am I trying to punch this guy to death? That's not smart. Where's my other weapon? There we go. No, not the stick. There we go, that's better. So new weapons, new enemies, different kind of dungeons, multiplayer, online multiplayer, which is not always an easy thing to get either. Um, and um, yeah, the whole you know, VR shtick. It seems like VR really is getting more and more popular, probably for good reasons too. But, <clears throat> I don't know if VR will put you in first-person mode. I really hope it does. It kind of feels like it should. You know, VR, virtual reality, you know. You kind of want to get immersed in the game, and you can't really get much of immersion if you're still having a camera floating behind the character actually playing with it. So, imagine just, just playing this with three other buddies all in VR, and you're just, like, able to wave at each other or something. Although I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a thing you can actually do. So what do I think about the game? Well, it's a neat little dungeon crawler. You don't get too many of them in like a um, third-person thing like this. Usually it's like 2D and top-down or, or side-scrolling, you know. So it's a nice little thing. Um, I mean, obviously, it has to be said, it's... Ooh, we got our first bit of green mold. Hurrah! But yeah, it's suffering from a few things which I think could be better, but... Nothing I probably wouldn't be able to get over. Um, the thing I'm kind of relieved for is... If you're not playing... The... VR method... It doesn't really feel like you're missing out on too much. The only reason I bring that up 
is because I've done VR games in the future and whilst they also did have a non-VR mode, you could still pretty easily see and go like, yeah, this game is made for VR. And this one doesn't seem to have that. If you play without the VR, you're, you know, just playing a normal game. Anyway, um, yeah, more green mold. Amazing. Anyway, um, I think that'll probably do it for the most part. I mean, it's a solid game. And would you have more fun playing this with friends? Probably. I mean, any multiplayer is more fun with friends, of course. That's pretty self-explanatory, I would say. But yeah, it's good, clean fun on your own too, I guess. Uh, it all depends on the amount of variety there is, of course, in these things. Um, If there's only these two settings that you have, you can probably get bored pretty quickly, but so far I can't really make a proper statement on that. Which is fine, I mean, you're not probably here to see everything. You're probably just here like me to see, hmm, what does this look like to somebody who has never played this before? And that's where I come in. And I can safely say, it's not bad. The Ring of the Apprentice. And that's our quest complete. And that's also going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still in the series. Feel free. Show support by commenting, liking, and or something if you haven't already. And I'm seeing you guys on the next Bioshowcases. Bye, everyone.